The last set of questions we have in this past paper pack is on entropy of solution. So you've got a few questions um, on there at the end. This isn't as common a question to come up. Most of the questions in this topic are um, born here cycle questions. But you can get the odd um, wee question at the start or end of a question um, about entropy of solution. So question 10 um, in the first part asks you to draw a diagram to show how magnesium and fluoride ions interact with water molecules in aqueous solution um, of magnesium fluoride. So it's a bit of a strange question, but we did flag it up in the notes as something that could come up. So you have to show how magnesium ions are dissolved in water and how fluoride ions are dissolved in water. There's no kind of key features to the diagram apart from one thing. You just have to show the correct part of the water molecule interacting with the correct ion. What we mean by that is if magnesium is a positively charged ion, it's going to react with the, or interact with the delta negative part of water, which is the oxygen. Fluoride is a negative ion, so it's going to interact with the delta positive part of water, water molecule, which is the hydrogen. So you have to make sure it's clear in your diagram. Um, so we'll have oxygen atoms attached to the uh, magnesium. I wouldn't draw full bonds here because they're not, they're just kind of dipole interactions. I probably would put in delta minus and maybe a lone pair there to show it's the bit that's attracting. Um, I know the one you know has got four drawn around, you probably could do that. Um, Mark only had two, I think probably two is enough. I wouldn't draw one because there's obviously more than one uh, water molecule that can interact with an ion. Fluoride's not too different, so we need an interaction to H's this time because they're the delta positive part of it. And that's your interactions um, as clear as they need to be. Part two. Given that the entities of hydration of magnesium ions and chloride ions are minus 1920 and minus 364, calculate the last, the, uh, the last entity of magnesium chloride. So we look at those kind of cycles you're actually trying to get last entity. Often they're used to actually calculate the entity of solution, but if you spot the top of the question, they do give you the value of entity of solution minus 155. So you've got entity of solution, you've got hydration entities, the only missing part is the last entity. So what you might want to do here, because there's not much room to work out, is draw a kind of really HESA cycle um, to work out what you're going to manipulate. So if you remember, the entropy of solution is going, sorry, that's not right, um, MgCl2 as a solid going to dissolved ions, so that's Mg2 plus aqueous and two chloride ions aqueous. How we do that is in two steps. So we first of all split apart the ions into gaseous ions. And then we hydrate those ions. So we'll go from magnesium 2 plus as a gas to the aqueous state, chloride ions in the gaseous state to the aqueous state. The values we have are minus 155, that's the entropy of solution. Um, the value for magnesium ions is minus 1920, again, sorry, it's so cramped. Happy curve of chloride, um, one chloride ion being hydrated is minus 364. Now to get this to balance out, I need two moles of it, so I need to double it up. It's going to be 2 times minus 364. So once I've got that annotated, I've got my missing one here. This is the last entropy. It's going from solid to gaseous ions. So to get that change there, I need a cycle, a way around the cycle that goes from this side to this side. So it's going to be going this way, then this way. So I'm going to need to flip these arrows for the hydration. So it's going to be plus um, 1920 and plus 364 doubled to get that um, final answer. So my last entropy therefore becomes minus 155 plus 1920 plus 2 times 364. Type it all in. You should get plus 2493 kilojoules per mole. On the question 11, obviously it's a multiple choice question. It doesn't work so well in terms of um, a set of questions because the answer to this is just literally described in the previous question. We've got magnesium chloride again. We're given its last entity, which is what we calculated previously. We've got some of solution, um, we've got the entropy of hydration for magnesium ions, and we need to calculate a different thing than hydration entropy for chloride ions, which I mean was given to us there, so we already tell it's going to be B. But again, we'll not cheat. We'll see if we can work out the maths to get that being the answer. So it's not an identical question. We're asked to like, work out a different unknown. So we're going to do a quick um, cycle again. It's so MgCl2 as a solid, going across to the aqueous ions. Then we're going to split up the ions in the, gas, the gaseous state, which is the last entropy. 
and you're gonna hydrate those ions to get them into the aqueous state, sorry, gaseous state. If I write on what I've got from the question so far, I have got the last enthapates plus 2493. I have got the enthapate solution, which is 155, minus 155, sorry. Enthapate hydration magnesium is minus 1920. This is our missing energy here. So it may be a bit of a tricky one to kind of manipulate because I've kind of partially got this arrow kind of filled in, but I'll just treat it like one thing. What I would write here is this as a whole is equal to this direction and this direction. So flipping this arrow, it's going to get me minus um, 2943. And that transition there will be the same as this in total. How I might write that as a sum is like this. So I call it X, that unknown. So X minus 1920, which is that transition for hydration, equals minus 2943 minus 155. Manipulating a wee bit more, X is going to be minus 2943 minus 155 plus 1920. And if you put that in your calculator, it will actually come out as being minus um, 364. Actually, it won't, sorry. That actually comes out as being um, double the answer, which is minus 7 to 8. I fell into the trap. Um, because obviously with this cycle, it's two moles of chlorine, chlorine ions, chloride ions going to two moles of chloride ions in solution. So I'm going to need to half that value to get the value for one mole. So minus um, 78 divided by 2 gives you minus 364 kilodios per mole. Question 12, unfortunately, is very similar again. Um, we've got magnesium chloride and its last enthalpy. First part is explain what's meant by the term last enthalpy. Again, that is just straight out of your notes. Just make sure you give it the right way around. So it's the enthalpy change. When one mole of an ionic compound is converted to gaseous ions. Part two, the calculation part. Use the last enthalpy of magnesium chloride information though to calculate the enthalpy of hydration for one mole of chloride ions. Um, now this is pretty much the same question before. But you might notice that the um, values are given a wee bit different. They're using them from a different table. So we'll do it again just, just for comparison's sake. I'll do it down here, just a bit more work in that room. So I have the same cycle again for the third time. So MgCl2 as a solid going to Mg2 plus aqueous and Cl2 Cl minus is aqueous. Got our last enthalpy to split up the um, ions into the gas gaseous state, so Mg2 plus as a gas, two chloride ions as a gas, and then they get hydrated. So the values you got from this question which are slightly different. Um, I've got the last enthalpy being um, plus 2489. I've got the enthalpy of solution being minus 170. I've got the enthalpy of hydration magnesium being minus 1891. Minus eight, 1891. So obviously my missing value here is the chloride ion. So doing a wee bit of manipulation, so that transition there where those ions get hydrated is going to be the same route as um, our same energy change is going by this route. It's so going to flip this arrow here to make that minus 2489. I'm going to follow this arrow so it's still going to be um, minus 170. So minus 1891 plus x, I'm going to call that x, equals minus 2489 minus 170. Changing uh, to get x by itself, x is going to be minus 2489 um, minus 170 plus 1891. Type in my calculator I will get minus um, 768. Again that we trick at the end, um, obviously this arrow is minus 768 but that's for two chloride ions to go to two chloride ions in solution. But we're looking for one mole of chloride ions in the question. So just need to divide it by two then. So over two, that becomes minus 384 kilojoules per mole. Which is my answer. Now the final question is slightly different. So we've got calcium fluoride this time. We've got less enthalpy of 2602. Enthalpy solution minus 60. Enthalpy hydration for calcium 2 plus is minus 1650. What do the following is the enthalpy of hydration for F minus ions? So it's a very similar question in terms of working out to the previous questions we looked at, but we'll just do it quickly here. So calcium fluoride, Ca2 plus, 
sorry, as the ionic compound first, CaF2. The empty solution makes integrated ions, Ca2 plus aqueous, plus 2F minus aqueous. We split them up into gaseous ions first, the lattice entropy. And then those gaseous ions can become hydrated to form the solution. Values have been given, last entropy is 2602. Entropy of solution is minus 60. For calcium ions, dehydration entropy is minus 1650. And this is my missing value here for the fluoride ions. So just like before, um, this total change here, the minus 1650 and the x, will be the same as going this way around the cycle, which would be um, minus 2602, then minus 60. So I'm lifting that a wee bit more. x becomes minus 2602, um, minus 60, plus 1650 gives me a value of minus 1012 and you'll see that that is one of the answers where they're trying to trap you here that would be answer C the problem is this is for two moles of fluoride ions in the gas state to go to two moles of fluoride ions in the aqueous state um, we need it for one mole because that's what entropy of hydration is it's for one mole or something so we're going to need to half this and if you half this you get down to minus 506 which is your actual answer